Buenas noches. Hello, how are you today? Fine, fine. Yes, fine. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, vamos a ver. Let's look for, for the attendance. Twenty seventh today, right? A ver, Adriana. Well, we're missing one minute, right? Let's wait for a couple more to connect, and then we'll start. Okay. Bye. Let's let's start. Now we are. Let's see how many. Ah, oh, we're nine. Okay, Adriana Maria. Adriana María. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana Alicia.
Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher, solo que todavía estoy trabajando. Le aviso cuando llegue. Va, ok, David. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Eddie Jonathan. Eddie Jonathan, no. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. No está ahí. Elsa Cristina. Elsa Cristina. Eh, Félix Enrique. Félix. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Okay. Ivo Marcela. Ivo no hay. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. José Alberto. José Alberto. José Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Mario, Mario. Ya, 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 ya. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Víctor Manuel. Víctor. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. A ver, anybody. Elsa Cristina present. Ok, Elsa Cristina present. Ok, anybody else that connected after I call you? Who? Oh. Mm -hmm. No? No, no, no. Nobody else. Uh -huh. okay. El rest, the rest of the world, <laughs> the rest of the world is not here. Okay, bueno. Let's talk about, let's start in. We will have a, a review, right? We will have the review and then we will have we will begin. Teacher, I have yeah. a question. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. In homework, in the homework number uh, 1.5, and the number two, and the number five, number mm -hmm. two, and number five. Ah. I make the same the class and it's wrong. Vamos a ver. Which one, Carlita? Um, what number? Num number two and number five. Yeah, but which homework? Uh, 1.5. Okay.
the one of putting the sentences in order, Carlita? Yes. Okay. I put in order the same the class and I make the I change the order too. Mm -hmm. And always is wrong. Did you put the capital letter at the beginning, punctuation at the end? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you have in number one? And number one is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, which has problems? Number two? Only number two and number five. Mm. Many distributors would. <clears throat> That's the beginning, right? Okay, and number five. I did not know. For me, the same. Number yeah, two. Was... Number two and number five. Chrome. And I I put the order that we Vaya, number, number five is exactly the way we put it in class, Carlita. Uh -huh. Number two. Uh, in the sentence, they tell you the options would rather much, but remember that the order is would much rather, and we changed that in class two. Many, many distributors would much rather sell our product at a lower price. And remember to put the correct punctuation at the end, right? Because if, yes. you, if you omit the period or if you don't put capital letter, eh, Okay, so sorry, uh, Rosie. Okay, so yeah. Number if, two is correct, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. but number five is always is, uh, is okay. incorrect. No, I don't know why. What did it? I put the same in the class. Carla, I think that, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I think that is going to be more easy if you show the, the, the screen. Or, or, read, you, your, or read your sentence. You can read your sentence. Let's see. What, what did you put? Many more companies mm -hmm. will rather become. Uh -huh. Or yes, will become rare. No, no, will rather become. That's okay. Will rather become the low cost. Uh -huh. Provider yeah. of a product sí. with great caution about what prices. 
with you go you what only with great or you put with a great caution that's the with problem. great uh -huh. bye agreguele a with a great uh -huh. see <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a letter remember yesterday we were talking about a quantifiers right and you uh -huh. say a great so that is a, correct <laughs> See, it's correct, is, teacher. Okay, Good. perfect. That is that, that A you. is the one missing. Uh -huh. That's why and number two, <laughs> number two, it was giving you mistakes. Number two is exactly how we did it in class. That you saw, you said many distributors would much rather instead of would rather much remember. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That mistake in class. Okay, okay, thank uh -huh. you. Because uh, it was would would rather much, but it uh, it doesn't have to be would rather much. It has to be would much rather. That means uh, that's a big difference, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, sí. see. Sí. Thank you, teacher. Yes, thank you. That is correct. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Bueno, let's go for the presentation then. A ver, 27 today, unbelievable. Time really flies out. I'm going to make books now. Teacher, ya pasó la asistencia. Uy, sí. Voy aquí. Chequeme ahí. Ok, ok, ¿quién? Mi tú, teacher, please. <laughs> Me too, teacher. Me asked oh, Victor in a moment. I was like, eh, no, yes, but <laughs> okay. A ver, I'm going, I'm going to be watching you. I'm, I'm going to be checking. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Let's see. Okay. September 27th. Check. Today we're talking, hey, we have shown it today. You know what it means? <laughs> what does it mean? Mm? A ver, what does it mean that we finish unit today? That everybody has them. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, Mario. I hope so. That means that you should finish what? The exercise, the platform. Exactly, yes, that you have to finish the platform, right? Platform should be finished by when? Tomorrow. Okay. Because tomorrow. Today, because today finished the unit. Exactly. Exactly. Como, como, vaya, como le digo. Hoy, hoy, allá al principio, si ustedes se acuerdan, era que solo le ponían número a la tarea, pero hoy le van poniendo un número también al, 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 al cosito donde ve el video. Entonces, ustedes tienen que llegar, no se me voy a confiar, hasta el 5 terminamos, no, 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 you finish up to 1.9, ¿sí? 1.9, porque es lo que vemos hoy, and we finish. Um, the the 1.5, the one we were checking with Carlita is what we did the day before, yes. ¿Qué dijo? Oh, yo sé, so sorry. <laughs> and when I get to this time, I have put the, the, the date so many times that I think it's the next day already. But no, we're still on, on Tuesday, right? So uh, what, what we were checking right now with Carlita was the third homework. Right? Was the third yes. one? So, uh, yesterday's was about um, 
quantifiers. That's very easy. And we will make a review before uh, right now, right? So that's very easy. And the next one is about the vocabulary that we're going to be checking today. And then you finish unit number one and you're done. Okay. And remember, uh, Tuesday today. So as we started on Wednesday, right? Teachers, we organize the brain. So as we started Wednesday, that means that we will have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday, right? So every Tuesday, the platform should be finished every Tuesday. So take advantage of the weekend, right, that you have. And tomorrow, we start working with unit number two. And unit number two is the long one, right? We will get up to session number 15 with unit number two. But uh, in unit number two, what it means is that you will have two sessions, one homework. Two sessions, for example, we get class Wednesday and Thursday, so you don't have homework on Thursday, but you have homework on Wednesday. On, on, sorry. You don't have homework on Wednesday, but you will have homework on Thursday, okay? And then on Friday, you don't have homework, but if you want, you can do it on Friday, no problem. You have the homework for Monday, right? The, you have only five assignments for the unit, but they are longer because they include two videos, yes? But right now, no, they are short, only five questions. If the, in five minutes, exaggerating, in five minutes, you finish. So I hope by the end of, of, of the class, so by the end of the one-on-one -on -one session, you're finishing, right, with the homework. Okay, questions, no more, Beta. Okay, today, check, we're going to talk about the strategies to handle the decline stage of a product. As during this unit, we have talking about the cycle, the product cycle, and the last cycle is the decline, right? So what can I do as a company? If I'm getting there to the decline of my product, how can I handle that situation? And that's what we are going to be talking about today. And the objective is to learn about how to handle the decline stage of a product. And before we're going to make a review of yesterday's uh, topic, right? Let me move it. A little bit. I don't like it. We need a little space. I don't know what happened. Much better. Okay. Um. Let's do it together, right? Let's do it together. We have so many other things to go do in groups, so we can do it together. Let's see. Number one, I have. I have what? I have some work to do. Some. I have some. I have some work to do. Number two. Any. Any. Read the whole sentence. Do you have do you any, any money? Some. Mm -hmm. Any money. Any money. Only the correct one, right? Uh-huh, do you have any money? Yesterday I asked you how much money do you carry around and you told me five pence. <laughs> I hope today you have more, right? We're getting close to the payment, to the payday. Okay, let's see, number three. What about number three? We, we, we? We need some medicine. For our cow. Oh, we need. Some, uh, 
some medicine, right? For our, our cup. Yes. Number four. We don't have any good news. Exactly, because it's negative, right? We don't have any good news. Number five. I. Um, I what? I want to buy some new furniture. Yes. I want to buy some new furniture. Nice. Number six. It takes about an hour. An hour. An hour. Mm -hmm. It and takes about an hour to get there. An hour. Yeah. Number seven. There is too much work for one person. That there is too much work. Yes. Number eight. She wants to buy a lot of presents. She needs a lot of presents. Nice. Number nine. How much? How much? Okay. How, how much homework? How much homework do you have? Mm -hmm. How much homework do you have? We said yesterday that homework is not countable, right? So you say how much homework do you have? You can count the assignments. If you want to do it plural, you say how much I have a lot of homework assignments. A lot of assignments, right? A lot of I have a lot of assignments for next week. I have a lot of assignments to check. <laughs> okay, number 10. There is many interesting information in the book. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Oh, there is, there is a lot. Aha. Uh -huh. We cannot use many because many is for content. Yeah. And information is not countable. Exactly. You cannot okay. use much because much is used in negative and question, mm -hmm. knowing affirmative sentences. Right? Okay. There is a lot of interesting information there in the book. There is a lot of interesting information. That a lot is used with both, with countable and uncountable, right? What's the best option in number one? A lot of a lot of people use people. a car to get to work. Yes, very good. Because much is for uncountable, and a part of that is for negative or question, right? Okay, what about number two? How many times? How many times did you take your driving test? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many times? Yes, they pay a little attention, almost nothing, almost nothing. What would be the best option for almost nothing? They pay a little. A little, they, no much, but no much. But they take, they pay little, few. They little. Pay few. Yeah, they pay little attention. O sea, casi nada de atención, right? They pay little attention to what I say. Number four. I have to buy the few things uh -huh. at the supermarket. I have to buy a few things at the 
Number, 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 okay. Number five. There's a few money. There's a few money. Is money countable or uncountable? Uh, the money, the money is countable. Money is countable? Who no. did what? Who did what? You can count the bills, you can count the coins, the dollars, the euros, the pounds. Yeah, from the bank. <laughs> yeah, no otro, otro nombre de moneda. But the word money mm -mm, definitely is uncountable. So there is eh, another thing that tells you that this is singular is if, right? There is. There is a little money. Or you can say very little money left. Okay. There is very little money left. Or there is a little money. These two are okay. Any of both can be okay. Right. There is a little money left. Or there is very little money. Por poco no le deja, right? There is very little money left. Um, what about number six? Teacher, that meaning could be like muy poquito. Very little es sí, muy poquito. O sea, casi nada le dejaron. Right? Mm -hmm. Imagine that you have a project, right? You're going to buy something. And then you collect some money in the group. But at the end, the you will buy the food. But we have only ten dollars for the food, and you have to feed thirty people. Then you say, "Hey, come on! There is very little money left. That's a bit poquito. Ten dollars to feed thirty people. That's almost thirty-five cents each person. Not thirty-three cents. Eggs and beans. Huh? Not even for that, it's not enough. Just one can, no. <laughs> a piece of bread, a, a, a piece of bread with beans inside, maybe. That will be it. Okay, let's see number six. There are little more things I'd like to discuss. There are? Little. Is little for plural? It's little for plural or for uncountable? It's few. Uh, few. Uh -huh. There are a few more things. A few or few? A few. A few. A few. Algunas, porque es algunas. No muchas, pero algunas. Right? Remember, if you say few, that means almost nothing. Right? Almost nothing. But if you say a few, no many, but some. So you say, I have a few more things I'd like to discuss. Right? A couple of more things to discuss. What about seven? We still have a little. We still have a little time. No much, but some. But we have some time. We still have a little time left. What about number eight? Number eight. I got a little sleep last night. Mm -hmm. I got a little. In this case, you can use any of this, depending on the situation. I got little sleep last night. It's so almost nothing, right? Have you heard people that say, no pude pegar los ojos, right? So I had very, I got very little, or I got little sleep last night. But if you say, hmm, I got a little sleep last night. I slept about two hours, right? Okay, number nine. 
there is a, a little few chance. chance. There is a little chance. So there is some chance, right? Not much, but there is some chance to success or of success. Of success. Okay, any question here? No questions? No question. Chino? No question. Can you count the chance? Um, chance? Can you count the chance? Mm, no. Sure. You can count the, op the opportunities, yes, but the chance, no. It's the same. But if you use <laughs> chance, you use some quantum. <laughs> if you use chance, it's the same, but no, it's the same. It's the same, but no. Yeah. So if, <laughs> if you use, yeah, I got it. If you use chance, you use some countable. If you use opportunities, you use countable. Uh, sorry, I know that this is a little bit basic, but uh, I won't remember where where we where are we going to use a uh, before uh, a word. Ah. A. Where are we going to use a before a word? Like in the previous one here. Yes. Do we have an uh, uh -huh. Where? Where? In what moment we are going to use? For example, imagine if here instead of saying I want to buy some new furniture, you can say I want to buy a new computer. Okay. Then you say I want to buy a new computer. In that case, you could use. Uh, Oh. Mm -hmm. I want to buy a new computer. In the case of furniture, because furniture is not countable. Okay. The furniture in, uh, is those types of words that include a, a whole thing. Like when you talk about furniture, you're talking about the tables, the chairs, the, 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 computer, the, the computer desk, uh, the sofas. Right, that's furniture. Los muebles, right? All things made of wood. That furniture is not countable. Chair. Yeah. In the Spanish, you you can muebles, but in English, no. Tell me. Who's talking, Victor, okay. Mario, Mauricio? Yes. <laughs> Who? Uh, can you go back one uh, on slide? Here? No, the previous this. This one? This one. Uh, next. This one? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this. Okay, any questions over here? Question, question. That was basically making a review of, of the point that we were discussing yesterday, right? No questions? No. I have difficult to 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 determine mm -hmm. what is what is countable in this case for me this since my viewpoint the the money is countable mm -hmm. but no but, you can count the dollars you can count the dollars and the the, the bills the coins but no money it's like when we talk about furniture, right? Oh, furniture, okay. It, it, we're talking about one group, of, one word that includes a group, right? Furniture includes tables, chairs, desks, uh, sofas, and the same. Money includes bills, coins, all the currency that you can think of, dollars, 
euros, pounds, um, colones, pesos, right? So you can okay. count pesos. You can say, tengo 10 pesos, pero tengo dinero. Ni siquiera decimos un dinero, right? Tengo algo de dinero. No tengo mucho dinero. But no dineros. Solo a los diputados. Ok. Estamos diciendo dineros. <laughs> I understand. Okay. I understand. Yeah. So, yes. Dinero is singular. Mm -hmm. So, it is singular. It, remember, it is singular in Spanish and it is singular in English too. Yeah. And with the time, we were saying time, if we use time like tiempo, is singular. Pero times, in like in this case, means veces, right? How many times do you go to the bathroom in a day? That would be times. How much time do you, stay, do you stay in the bathroom? For example, people who work in a call center or in a maquila, they don't have many times to stay to go to the bathroom and they don't That's have really. much time to stay in the bathroom. Yeah? So you see, they cannot go to the bathroom many times and they don't have much time to stay there when they go in. You see the difference? And that's why also sleep is not countable. Yeah? How much sleep? How much sleep do you take? How much sleep? Well, not much, right? How much sleep do you take? How much television do you watch? So it's not the same to say how much television do you watch to say how many televisions do you watch? If you go to a store where they sell televisions, I can tell you, uh -huh, buy a, we're starting the numbers, right? How many televisions do you watch? Or how many televisions do you see? But if we're talking about television programs, TV shows, and things like that, I can ask you how much television do you watch? Well, I don't have much television, you can say. Well, I have a lot, of, I watch a lot of television. I watch two hours of television every day. Right? Mm -hmm. Any other question here? I'll check. Before I forget, because this word is very important and we find it everywhere, is this one. Advice. Advice is no countable. Yeah. I can give you some advice, some Noah, right? Hey, I'm going to give you an advice. No. No, 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 no. You say some because advice is no contact. Yeah, some advice. The same as news, if you notice here. No, aquí está. News. News, las noticias in English are plural. But in digo in Spanish they are plural, but in English no. Y que no le confunda que termina en s, right? But news is no count. So you have, uh, hey, I have some news for you, right? I have some news, but news is singular. So you uh, it's no countable. Sorry. So you cannot say a news. Remember we use a and n with things that we can count. Si yo lo puedo contar, tengo uno, right? I have a, a phone, see? But I cannot say I'm going to give you a news because news is an uncountable things and uncountable things, as I cannot count, I cannot have one, right? Because one is a number. Then in that case, the only thing you can use is some or any. If it is negative, any. If it is affirmative, some. Mm -hmm. Any other question there? 
No question. Teacher, I confused. Um, why the advice is no countable? I can say one advice or no. not. No. Why? Because it's uncountable. It is an uncountable word in English. In English. You can you can say I'm going to give you some recommendations. Oh. Some recommendations that some advice. Or a piece. If you want to use a, you say a piece. Remember, these are words that we use to make our uh, our uncountable words plural, right? Or, or we can use them in another way. So you say a piece of advice. I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Nicolo le va a dar un pedacito de la de la recom ¿Cómo se llama? De la advice. Ah, recomendación. <laughs> I forgot the word in, in Spanish. Okay, so it's not that I'm going to give you only a piece, but that's how you say, right? I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Oh, I'm but I can, I can, in, in Spanish, yo puedo dar un consejo o dos consejos. Well, in English, no. In English, no. I can give you uh, two advice. <laughs> two pieces of advice. Uh -huh. So you can say, okay, I'm going to give you two pieces of advice. Yeah. Before an exam. First, go to bed early. And second, eat well. Right? So I uh, two pieces of advice. Or I give you some advice. Mm -hmm. um, can I say, uh, give me a couple of advice? A couple, no, because a couple is plural. Okay. A couple is two. Mm -hmm. So you can give me two pieces of advice, but not two couples of advice because it, it's singular, right? I cannot count it. Mm -hmm. So advice can't a plural. Advice is no plural. Advice is an uncountable word. And, and, the, and the words don't have a plural? No. No, okay. And that's why I came to this word and I mentioned it because it's a very common mistake, right? That we say, hey, I'm, please give me an advice about this. And I say like, no, a piece of advice or some advice, right? And you cannot, even, you cannot say either, I'm going to give you two advices. No, because advice, has no plural. Yeah, it's an uncountable word. It's like traffic also. When you talk about traffic, you include the cars, the buses, the trains, the bicycles and everything. But the word traffic is no countable. That is when we talk about a, a group of things that include many, well, one word that includes many things inside, right? And that, and the case of advice is similar to news, no plural, because they cannot be counted. Mm -hmm. Any other question here? Yes, yes, no, no, teacher. No? No, teacher, thank you. Okay, perfect, let's move. Today we're talking about the product decline. What happens? In this stage, what does the uh, decline stage mean? Who wants to read? Hmm? What does decline stage mean? When the product is no longer or is is um is not that not attractive uh -huh. in the market. Uh, yes. And when the company has no more sales. Exactly, exactly. And when you say uh, no more sales and no more profit, right? Yes. And this can be caused, why? What, what can cause a product to decline? There are some reasons. Some things yes. that cause the product to the, decline. The product is not competitive with the people. Uh-huh, it's no more, comp it's not competitive anymore. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can be the, the when when the clothes is out of season. Yes, yes, that's part of it. Yeah. For example, what's with it? They they withdraw the clothes from the from the stores, right? And they don't keep the clothes for the following year. They just send it somewhere else so they send it cheaper they sell it cheaper they sell it to other companies because it's it's not a how can we say they don't make any profit just by keeping the clothes there that's why they prefer to sell it cheaper right sometimes yeah. that is because of the customer's preferences that the products decline and that will be the case of the seasons too, right? Others, because there are some technological advances and then the product is not useful anymore. Like when we were talking about the floppy disk, no more floppy disk, right? We do not use it anymore. The DVD, the CD is going out of the market too. If you want music, you don't go buy a CD, right? Now you can buy it online. So we have some other alternatives on the market. That's when we talk about the competition, yeah? But what happens during this stage? Hmm? There is a decrease in the income, no more income. The demand, Right, uh -huh. the demand falls, and the market is oversaturated of the product. Right, the competing products are oversaturating the the market, so the people is not going. Uh, people are not going to buy your product anymore. The competition increases. And when we say it becomes unbearable, that means I cannot will I cannot deal with the competition anymore. And the customers, unfortunately, find the competitors more attractive, right? Uh, of course, there is always somebody that prefers your product, but it's not the same quantity of people that you had at the beginning, right? So we talk about a decline of the product, right? And then why do the products reach to the decline stage? Why? What factors? We sell technological advances, hey, hey, the trends. Have you noticed that there is some time of the year when all the stores get of one specific color. They say, well, now it is pink. And there is a month, pink, everything pink in all the stores. You want to buy something of a different color and now everything is pink. The in next- March, I guess. Um, in March. In March, right? Yeah. And there is another time when everything is navy. And then every, so things get in different, that's part of the trend. Then you go, remember when the jeans started to become the tiro corto, right? Very, very short. And you were looking for jeans and there were no jeans for your size because all of them were like this. Yeah. And that was part of the trend. When the girls were putting the, the jeans, the pants, the skirts, like if they were men under the navel, yeah, the bajo el ombligo. And the ones that wanted to use normal clothes didn't find because of the trend. Then the, they cost that the other types of clothes decline. And as we said before, there is always some residual demand. Some people that do not move with the trend, but if most of the people move with the trend, the product will definitely decline. Also, we have the innovation that uh, something that has happened with the technology. 
If you remember, the first phone you got was not touch, right? It was some, it has some keys for you to write when you wanted to send an, an SMS message. Yes. But no, how mm -hmm. but, but how the snake game? Uh-huh. What was the game you had there? Only Pac-Man. <laughs> right? So, but now you play Candy Crush here, right? So you have so many other games. Or changing the, cons the consumer taste. As you say, like, I guess I don't me gusta, so I want to buy something else, right? So the consumer changes tastes. And of course, you as a company will know when your product is getting there to that stage of the decline. Right, and that the life cycle of the product is going down because the revenue it generates is lower too. Yeah, but what strategies can we take into account for that? Some defensive strategies. <laughs> but when the company is in such a vulnerable position, sometimes if the manager is not very efficient or is ineffective or it is too late when they notice about the decline, there is nothing to do, right? And some of the strategies that we can put into practice are this. So if you want to lose, if you don't want to lose your complete product, right? You can, let me move here. You can reduce your promotional expenditure on the products, spend less, right? Reduce the number of distribution outlets that sell the products. If your product was everywhere, so don't keep too many stores or outlets selling your product, reduce it. Implement price cuts to get the customers to buy the products or reduce the price, right? Find another use for the product. If you were thinking about, uh, uh, for example, just one use, so you had the one use for your product, think about who else can use it for what else can you use it? So you introduce it to other people. Maintain the product and wait for competitors to withdraw from the market first. <laughs> so if you say like, let's survive, let's survive, let's hope that the competitor says, no, 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 we'd, we'd withdraw our product happily. And then harvest the product or service before discontinued. That means, Withdraw the product, change it, modify it a little bit, launch it again. That can be a strategy to be used, right? When a, we have a product that is, a, that is changing or that is declining in a moment. I have, I have a couple of more a, a strategies I'm going to share with you here. I'm going to send that to to the WhatsApp group for you to for you to read. The I'm going to divide you, right? Hi, come on. My my WhatsApp is disconnected. Okay, so I'm going to share. I'm going to share with you the a, a document for you to see some other strategies that you can take when you want your, your product to survive and how you can deal with this situation. Let me see, yeah, now we, it is awake. So go through the document quickly. I'm going to ask you some questions about it. So you will share with the rest of the class. Vamos a ver the time. Check it. It is there. I'm going to I'm going to share it with you here, and I want you to to 
to see what you're going to do with this document. Okay, remember we were saying that a significant fall in the income it tells me, hey, that your product is declining, right? It is going down and we have a big challenge here. That for doing or for surviving, for helping your product deal or for dealing with the decline, if you don't want to lose everything, you can adapt to the decrease in demand, repurpose the capacity. You can reduce the inventory. That's something we were mentioning before. You make the most of lower pricing. You can consolidate the supply chain. So take your product from here to another place, right? Relocate your product. So maybe if they didn't like your product in Santa Ana, probably you will sell it in Chalatenango. Right, so relocate your product, increase sales as competitors exist. And at the end, if nothing works, sell the brand to another business. Maybe they can do something, right? Or reduce the price as much as you can. So you get rid of the inventory, if, especially if you have too much product right and you you need to get at least some of the money that you have invested in there then you can try to get as much as you can right well i'm going to send you in groups let's see you're 20 well you're 19 20 with me what you're going to do is the first group the first group, you will tell me about the first strategy that is adapt to decrease in demand, right? Adapt to the decrease in demand. How will you adapt to that? And the next group will tell me about the repurpose capacity. How, right? Next group, go to reduce inventory and make the most of lower pricing. Yeah, because that's those are very short. You will take me to group number four, consolidate the supply chain and increase sales as competitors exist. Except, except so they, they leave, you increase your sales. I'm going to make four groups and you have the topics you're going to be talking about. Vamos a ver group number one, Ana, José Alberto, José Alfredo, Carla Lorena, Mario. Group number two, Adriana Sofía, Claudia, Cruz Antonio, Nubia, and Victor. Group three, Adriana, María, Elsa, Cristina, Félix, Grace, and Mauricio. And group number four, David, Elmer, Rebeca, and Rosalina. I'm going to call attendance before I send you to the groups. And then you will go this read quickly and share. Adriana Maria. Present. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Elmer, right. Elsa Cristina. Elmer me parece verlo. Pero no, ¿verdad? Sí, Elmer, hello. Está, no está. Elsa Cristina. Hello. Grace Mitchell. Sorry, I'm here. Okay. Present. Okay. Felix Enrique. Present. Elsa Grace. Ay, voy para arriba yo. A veces leo al revés. Okay, Grace Mitchell. No. Yvonne Marcela. 
Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. No, Jennifer. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Acabo de llegar a mi casa. Eh, hey, nice. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Yeah. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca. Rosailda. Present teacher. Ok. Victor. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia, 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 Claudia. No, Claudia, ¿verdad? Oh, sí. Rayita. En Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay. But remember, you will go directly to your point and then you will share quickly about what you, what strategy you discuss with your group. There you go. Present teacher. Okay. Where were you? Try to join. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. 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 Group one. Yeah. Can you repeat what is the the um, the number one term? Number one is the first one only. Okay. Yeah. The first, one. the first one is number one is adapt to decrease in demand. Adapt to decrease in demand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi hi. ¿Dónde andan? ¿Están escondidos todos? Hello. Yes. Why are you hiding? Hello. Hello. Here, teacher. Hello, teacher. Don't escape. Don't escape. No yet. Okay. I'll share the document. Okay. okay. Is this topic right, teacher? Yes. Prepare for capacity. Exactly. What's capacity? An important decision that you must make in this phase is if and when to exit the market. Ah, is if and when to exit the market, okay. Declining, declining sales may make it unprofitable to continue production. What to do with existing capacity that you no longer need is an important decision. You may look to repurpose the capacity to make other products sell the resources or just scrap the resources altogether. You have several choices. You can cease, you can cease production and stop servicing the product without doing so may have serious repercussions on customer satisfaction and affect future sales of other products as customer fear not getting full use purchase the, the product before it becomes extinct please buy it before it's gone Men mentality may temporarily rise the product's price make the mass of lower prices okay
Did you finish? Maybe I for price and offer a promotion, verdad? For for any reason, uh, for the 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 sales stop or the the raw material or ingredients or principal ingredients are not available in the are not available this uh, a reason for the for the declines for the Entonces, sí, delete the pro. I think. Mm. Like, es, era el último dos, teacher. Mm? Era el último dos temas, perdón. Yes, the last, the last ones. The two because they are very short. Yes. No, teacher. Este. And, and the other is alone. No, eso ya lo dije yo. Uh, yes. uh, that was the introduction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only the, only the. Uh, only in crisis phase. That's it. Yeah, very <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? No, teacher. Uh, you have two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Two okay. minutes. Five minutes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Baby quiere hablar, teacher. No, si ahorita todavía estoy trabajando, pero, pero te va a ceder el honor a vos, Robo. <laughs> no se puede negar. <laughs> the, consolidated, the consolidated, the supply chain is similar a Amazon. No, okay. the prices are as a company. As competitor exit. As competitor? Exit. Exit. The last one. Yo te lo voy a poner así para que la... This, only this. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Is the least the example for for the product? No, no, no. 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 no pro, but I we we choose our uh, product example. It's amazing for this because. <laughs> <coughs> in this case, for example, in the, is the 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 flete. How do you say flete? Mm, the other day, he said to the teacher, "The shipping." Okay. The shipping. The shipping. Yes, the shipping in the um, navieras.
uh, for example, the shipping uh, for the containers. Mm. Science China with Central America, maybe. What do you think? This is why when the, the product is exporting or importing. Is import the product. Import the product. Uh -huh. And then the export the product. Uh -huh. When the uh, everyone company export your her product with the USA or with the Europe. Mm -hmm. Oh, for example, for the for the crisis, for the crisis, and when a company or uh, one company have a problem for the crisis and have a problem with the importing importing abroad. So the company is companies locales? The local companies? Local companies have more opportunity for the Dice cuando uh, when say just as it's uh, important to capture the upward trend when the when the product is upright to the top they have a moment in, in like a two three four months and later can be uh, down yeah. in the sales in the demand and, and this is the moment for the decline. Mm -hmm. So in this, in this moment, in this moment, so in this moment, when it, 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 this is the moment when the company can or uh, must to be uh, take a decision. We launch the product. Uh -huh. I think that in this moment. Or innovate, the or, or innovate the product. Innovate the product or or sell the the, the or brand. branding or co branding, for example, to help the, the product. Yeah, okay. In this, in this, say, I, I think that it is very, very important to have to take a, the right decision uh, because it depends if you stay in the market or uh, you live. You can you can grow up again, but uh, in this stage, it's very important to have the very the, the correct decision. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you you, you uh, I don't know if, if you remember the the BlackBerry. Yeah. It's a, it's an example uh, for all all the marketing. And the 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 fails in the decisions for a company. Yeah, because, because yeah, yeah. Because I know that uh, BlackBerry now is not selling cell phone. Is he is uh, focuses in marketing as a strategic, right? He is okay. A, one minute. He is a. Thanks, nice. Hello, teacher. Ay. Sorry. Este, no me he conectado porque estoy en la última etapa para mi examen final de la universidad. 
entonces prácticamente estoy súper agobiada estudiando y todo eso, entonces me cuesta bastante eh, terminar y ahorita estaba terminando de hacer unas correcciones de un documento y por eso me desconecté un rato, pero espero estar más concentrada de aquí en adelante, por lo menos en las horas de clases, porque como salgo tarde de trabajar, a la hora que vengo a la clase, normalmente tengo que ponerme a estudiar de las cosas de la universidad. Pero estoy tratando de equilibrar what time, todo. What time, when is your exam? Ay, hasta el 29 de octubre. De octubre. Uh -huh. oh, we finished the course before. We finish on the 25th of October. Uh -huh. Sí. Así que... Por eso, pero voy a tratar de, de sumamente ya concentrada de mañana hasta que termine el curso, por lo menos las dos horas de la clase. Ok, great. But ya, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We have mm, group number one, a ver, one volunteer. Quickly, tell me maybe, about the first maybe it's the Our only one volunteer, Jose Alberto. <laughs> oh, you? Why not? Uh, yeah, Anna can be the, <laughs> the volunteer. <laughs> sí. Jose Alberto. Vaya, Jose Alberto, tell us then. Okay. Can I try to share the screen? Sure. Yes. Okay. Let me, give me a second, please. Oye, mire, con la boca torcida, Mahacuay. Qué barbaridad. Okay, okay. a ver. Um, in, in, in our group, we discuss about the adapt decreasing demand. Mm -hmm. When we talk about the the adapt to decreasing demand is when the the company can be detect where the product is uh, have a uh, can be say transformar a transformation a transformation. Mm -hmm. okay. When when the products have a transformation in in all around, and we can say uh, the sales is 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 decrease, the demand is decrease, and and in this moment the company can can say uh, the product arrived to the top. And later can be uh, have a, a falling. And in this moment, the company must be uh, take a decision. Uh, so, what is the future uh, for the product? Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, the company must uh, adapt to the to the moment and decide if can innovate the product change the product change the mark or um other strategies in in this moment and reduce uh, many things right yeah okay yeah Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Now, group number two, Adriana, Sofia, Claudia, Guadalupe, Cruz, Antonio, Nubia, Zulema, Victor. Who? Who, who, who? Big team. Sofia. Sofia, Adriana, Sofia. Bye, Adriana. No, Sofia. Victor, because, because he has understood the topic better than the others. Oh, it's okay. Vaya, hurry up, hurry up. One. Come on, Victor. Okay. One. I'm going, Victor. Okay, I'm going. 
repurpose. Capaz. Okay. Our topic, our topic was about the repurpose. Is, uh, repurpose capacity. Okay. Okay. Uh, a pro when a product is no more has no more sales because the company um the, the company has to make an important decision and the uh, decision that's going to take is about continue pro for manufacturing that, that product or they design strategies to convert in a, in a profitable product. Um, that, that will be, for example, for example, one strategy that company uh, can implement to Continue, may continue manufacturing that product is offer incentive for customers. And what this mean? If the company has a profitable product, you can offer that product that no that the company no sell more, like an incentive with other that pro, that product is uh, profitable. Um, there, 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 there is a reason uh, when why the company have um, say various products maybe maybe don't win, don't earn, but keep, but keep the um, the brand. In, in, in many cases, the brand is important. For the for the owner company, the brand is is something like like I don't know. It's their baby. Of, what? It's their baby. Yeah, it's their baby, mm -hmm. and many many owner companies wish to keep the brand, and that is and that is the strategy that design to keep the brand. Offering incentives with other products. Okay. And that is the in 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 special the repurpose capacity to innovate with the same products. Okay. Thank you, Victor. And then in room number three, we have Adriana Maria, Elsa Cristina, Felix Enrique, Gracie, Mauricio. Should go for number well. You go for reduce inventory and make the most of lower prices. Yep. Oh. Who? Who will tell me? Okay, let's go to group number four then. Group number four, you go for consolidate the supply chain. And no, teacher, I can I can explain. I thought my my <laughs> my classmates, I thought they can want it. Okay. To explain, but uh, we review with the document and we thought uh, when when the company reduced the inventory. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, some so in some cases uh, they want to sell the all the inventory and they want to re, uh, renew it or they want to uh, innovate it mm -hmm. um, in some cases and they uh, they they do or they they uh, they make a, a lower price uh, in some cases when they want to um, 
ending, ending the, the, the old inventory. Uh, for example, he, when the, the war, the cup of war is coming, uh, they put in the market so many, many, many products that people want uh, to sell, to, to buy, for example, the, the TV or a big TV. Uh, some the people is very emotional when the, the, the award cup is coming. And in many, in many cases, they buy a lot of, a lot of TV. And we thought uh, it can be uh, one reason. Okay. Yeah, and definitely when the people say, when the company said this product is disappearing, the last time in the market, the people go like crazy, right? To buy the product. Okay. okay. Nice. Great, great. Thank you, Elsa Cristina. Now, David, Elmer, Rebecca, and Ross, we go for the last one. Teacher, one. of my own free will, I will try it. Nadie quiso participar, teacher. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Increase sales as competitor exceed. Competitor exceed as the market declines. This may be an opportunity to increase sales for a brief period. For example, in the case of medicine, a leading product for different reasons, there is no opportunity on the market for other similar or related to win market. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. Shall we get that fast? Vaya, let's go back. ¿Por qué anda corriendo la teacher? Porque fíjense que nos faltan varias cosas. <ríe> Ay, no, vaya. Let's see. Todo me cerrado. Ok, lo bueno es que tengo frío. Vaya, let's see. Here. Check in. Move. Uh -huh. Meow. Me encierran con un gato. <laughs> Listen to the cat. <laughs> but she goes out of the window. She makes like, I don't know. And the window is closed up to here and she goes out through the window. Vaya, let's see. Checking this vocabulary related to, to the client, right? To, to, to the last thing we're checking. Check. Obsolescence. Have you heard of the obsolescencia programada? Have you heard that? Obsolescence. That yeah. the products, remember last week. I guess it was last week. Obsolescencia programada. Sí, I was telling you about my printer, right? That I buy one printer and I knew that it will last two years on. Right? So I bought it one year, the ink lasts one year, then I buy new ink, I put it to the to the printer, and then it lasts one more year, and the following year it is dead. Right? It lasts exactly, exactly two years. But it's because of this the obsolescence, they get like programmed. They are programmed for a specific number of copies or a specific time, and then they die, right? That's part of this obsolescence. A ver, look at the <laughs> This is my new my new acquisition, you see? This is the new 
<laughs> this is the one that was meow, meow, way around. But so look at the definitions. Look at the definition. Right, you have obsolescence, demand, downturn, downturn. We saw that word before in the reading. And then you have changes in customer preference and global competition. They, these words and phrases were also mentioned in the reading, right? A ver. What is obsolescence? Mm -hmm. When there are a new model or that item? Yes. Uh -huh. Which which would be the correct option? As uh, we can decline, decline in the competitiveness or value of product usually because are more innovative or cheaper, or cheaper one. one available. Okay. This one. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have more innovative things or cheaper ones, right? Okay, demand down turn. It's the last time. The last one. Which is the last one? What does it say? A reduction of customers. Uh -huh. Interest in buying a product or service. Exactly. So, this one. A reduction of customers' interest in buying, in buying a product or service. Uh, changes in customers' preference. The first presence is of innovative products or service cause customers to change their states and preference. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ay, qué bonito, tres. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Ley chiquito. And the last one, global competition. What's global competition? International, the last one, right? International competing companies may offer better products at cheaper prices and with better distribution, which might cause the decline of locally manufactured products. And you know, this brings to my mind, uh, for example, before, before the ceramic was worked a lot in El Salvador. And you could make, you could buy ceramic cups with different forms. And there were like different places where you could go and burn a, a, a ceramic cup, right? You could make your own cup or you could make cups and sell them. But then the Chinese came, the market changed because the companies or the people who were making uh, these cups could not continue competing with international companies like the Chinese ones that were coming and bringing the product cheaper. Probably not the same quality, but cheaper, right? And if we're always looking for what is cheaper because we can afford it easily, then uh, the companies that have a product can start disappearing, right? And that is the global competition. Okay, question here? Yes, no? No. <laughs> no, yes. Bye. Let's go, pues. Check. We have a... These other strategies, the following are strategies to handle the decline stage of a product. What you're going to do now, I'm not going to make groups of four, I'm going to make groups of five. 
you're going to investigate one word each, right? You have one will investigate lower prices, repackaging, the other one, number three, discontinuation, number four, innovation, and number five, co-branding. Some of these are not new for us at all, right? But anyway, you will go to the web, you will go online and investigate about it. Please do not share the screen while you are in internet. You can share the page or the, the PPT, if you're putting it in a PPT or the Word document, where you're pasting what you're getting, but no directly the internet page, because you know that I suddenly appear and I cannot share that, okay? Si no, YouTube me va a castigar. Okay. Sí, de acuerdo. Yes. A ver, let's make the groups. Y hoy, ¿por qué no me contestan? ¿Qué les pasa? Mm. What happened? What me siento como Dora la Exploradora. ¿Han visto Dora la Exploradora? Que pregunta y se responde solita. <risa> Ahí lo voy a ver así, con un ojo, dicen mis hijas que ven. Bye. A ver. So we have group number one, Adriana, Sofía, Félix, José Alberto, Nubia. You go for what? A ver. Lower prices. Okay, you lower prices. You investigate lower prices. Eh, number two, Ana Alicia Cruz Antonio González Villacorta. Bonito el nombre, <laughs> Cruz Antonio. Elsa Cristina José Alfredo, you go for repackaging. Repackaging, that's the second. And group number three, David, Mauricio, Rebecca, and Victor. You go for discontinuation. This continuation. Ah. Number four. Number four is Adriana Maria, Claudia Elmer, and Rosa Hilda. To go for innovation. And the last one, co branding. Co branding is for Grace Michelle, Carla Lorena, and Mari. Sí? Va, allá vamos. Let's let's go. Only one word, and then you come and share. I'm going to give you five minutes. Five minutes, and I call you. Join, 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 join. Mario está solito. Nice, Carla. Más. <laughs> lo siento, lo siento. Okay. Let's change Alberto's name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the victim here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You have repackaging. Yeah, we, we share only the, the defi definition in Google sí. about. Sí. Okay. Only your work. Repack. Repack. Repacking. Yes.
uh, in my in my in my work in my work uh, we use this this fresh this fresh or, or word repackage when this the cell department uh, was wrong when introduced the the order yeah or in some cases when they appeal um, a height back uh, above above or uh, encima como se dice encima dios mío above. Um, when, when when they put uh, many many bags or many boxes um, one by one in, in, in the dictionary chicos okay the dictionary, the dictionary. Mm -hmm. to place or uh -huh. the package uh, the mm -hmm. definition to place of uh, oranges to, to, put a, to put a product in a new container uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. or to sell a product or service in a new package or market in a new way mm -hmm. exactly exactly mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. that's repackaging mm -hmm. okay Be ready. How will you share that? Okay. okay. Sometimes you do not uh, find the word exactly it is given, right? But you find the, the, the base form of the verb. Mm -hmm. Bueno, yo creo que one minute and then we go because you're ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's happening? Why so fast? Because you were looking only for one word, not for the four, for the five of them. <laughs> Only one, only one. Only one, only one. Yes. Okay. This, mm -hmm. this continuation, teacher. This, this, continuation. this continuation. When the product is when the product. What is this continuation? Okay, let me. Mm -hmm. Okay, this continuation is when the product itself will no longer be in mass production. Uh huh. No more. No more. For example, for example, for for technology. It's a process by which the electrical or mechanical component of a production become no longer compatible with original. Hmm. Okay, then they, it is taken out, right? Yes. Taken out of the market, okay. Very good. Okay, who will be the next one? Next, another volunteer. It doesn't matter if you don't go in order, right? Huh? A ver, a ver. We was the number three. Number three. Discontinuation. Yes. Another one. Uh, we serious about packaging, repackaging. Okay, what about repackaging? What is repackaging? Uh, to put a product in a new container or to sell a product or service in a new package or market or market it in a new way. 
Okay. That's it. And sometimes the companies do that, right? They say, no, this product is not being sold anymore. So let's repackage it. They just change the package and they sell, they sell you the same product again. Okay. Yes, we are not chilling. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Who's going to be the next one? Innovation. A ver, innovation. Innovation. Innovation can refer to something new, such as an invention or the practice okay. of developing and introducing new things. Mm -hmm. Something better, right? Something better. So they can with, withdraw the product and innovate it and turn it again. Okay, low prices. That's very easy, right? <laughs> what is low prices? Um, low prices is every day. Low pricing is a pricing strategy where brands and retailers promise consumers that their price will always be low rather than having a sporadic discount or promotion. Like the ones we find in the supermarket, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So good. And the last one, co-branding. What is co-branding? Uh, co-branding, it is a term used to define a temporary alliance between different brands uh, focusing in uh, in grow up the position of each, each company uh, with the power of the brands. Okay. So check, I have, I have here just some definitions, not all. What is this to put a product in a new container or to sell right. a product or service right. in package. Package. Right. 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 package? To stop doing or providing something Discontinuation. Discontinue, yeah, discontinue. The marketing of a product or service under two or more brand names. Co branding. Co branding. Co branding. Okay, nice. Now let's go read. Do you like reading? Yes, right. In your manual, in your manual, go to page 16. Page 16, you have data reading. Yo me mudaré, me mudaré al manual. So check in. This page, page 16, we have a reading. Let's read it together and let's check pronunciation and meaning if necessary, right? Uh, yes. After that, teacher, can we can you explain what is the meaning of uh, ex, ex, excerpt? That's like a piece. When you say an excerpt, it's a piece of something. So it's not the whole reading, just a piece. Okay. Okay, let's see. It says 12 years and 26 devices later, the generation defining iPod branch looks like it's about to fade into history without so much as a whimper. I think all of us have known for some time that iPod is a declining business, said Apple boss Tim. Tim Cook in 2014. Discussing the company's latest earnings report, he announced massive profits as ever, but noted that Apple sales had dipped 52% down on this time in 2013 with further drops expected. 
the iPod had been nervously looking over its shoulder for some time. When the iPhone was launched in 2007, Steve Jobs joked that it was the best iPod we've ever made. And he was right. With its apps and other smartness, the iPhone meant there was no longer any need to own an iPod as a separate device so long as you could afford it. Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that would disrupt a successful existing business. Apple thought, if we don't do something, someone else will. And even today, despite the dramatic 52% fall, the Apple ranch still generates big revenues, 973 miles or millions of dollars, right? But and nine hundred seventy-three million dollars out of Apple's today total revenues is just a minor sideline, or as technology news site The Verge put it, a hobby, which leads most people in the know to predict that while Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the very near future. We're unlikely to see any kind of significant update of the devices. So what they do is that they only innovate, right? They do not withdraw the product. They just create a new one, an innovative one, and they continue in the market, right? So checking that. Apple, right? How Apple, Apple's iPod has survived through the years. Imagine in 2014, they said, uh-uh, we're in decline, right? We are on the decline stage and soon we will disappear. And probably uh, the result was lots of people running to buy an Apple before it disappeared, right? Then they went up and now imagine having a revenue of $973 million. But for them, that's nothing, right? That's only, we have a hobby, right? With this product. While for other companies, probably the competitors, that will be a big amount of money. Okay, now you see how Apple has gone to almost declined, but it says they will continue there, right? Even if they are about to die, they will not die and they will continue. But can you think about a national product or service that is in its decline stage? What national product can you think about that is in its national or in its decline stage? Hmm? We have been mentioning the floppy disk that decline and die totally, right? Uh, can you think of another product from El Salvador? That is in that stage now. Teacher Urbano Express, mm -hmm. for example. Okay. What happened to them? They don't service, mm -hmm. I think, anymore. They don't give a service anymore? Yeah. What what happened to them? I didn't know exactly, but um, maybe uh, they had a lot of uh, um, client um, quejas and complaints. Complaint. Mm -hmm, a lot of. Uh, a lot of complaints, but Why? I don't because of bad service or because they were too slow to, to, to take the things. For in my company, I think they didn't didn't do 
a great service. Uh, in many cases, they were a robot. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in Santa Ana or Aguachapan, uh, the, the, the products were uh, the robot. robot. And uh, uh, the company had had to pay uh, or in some cases the insurance uh, don't uh, don't replace the money for the products okay okay maybe the product was stolen but anyway you know that something like that happened to us i won't say the name of the company but hey, hey. It, somebody asked uh, for for a pie right they brought the pie to the grown house and when the owner of the pie called they said we already took it to one direction somebody received it we have nothing to do we could because we took it we gave it to somebody but they didn't respond. So they, they took no responsibility and that can cause the decline of a product or the decline of a company when the customer starts getting unsatisfactory, right? Okay, what possible strategies do you think a company could take? I will give you this as assignment. And tomorrow we will discuss that before we start the new lesson. So you tell me what possible strategies uh, the manufacturing or distributing company could, uh, could apply. In this case, it's a distributing company, the one we were mentioning. And what are the advantages? What advantages would those strategies bring to the company or to another company, right? Think about it to tell me tomorrow, okay? Because I know today is Tuesday with the feeling of Friday, right? <laughs> it's Tuesday with the feeling of Friday. Let's see attendance of the day. Uh, Adriana Maria. I'm present teacher. Adriana, Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elsa Cristina. Present. Hel Helix. Yeah. <laughs> ya le cambié el nombre. Felix. Eh, Present. Eh, Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Yvonne. Yvonne not here. Yvonne, Yvonne. No, but that. She promised. She made a promise. No. No, here. Yeah. Um, Jennifer Elizabeth. No here, Jennifer. Okay, Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Alfredo. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Carla, Carla, Carla. Present teacher. Mario. Yeah. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. And Emilio. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Okay. Patch. Good night. Good night. Hoy se queda conmigo, David. Yes. And the others, you can go sleep. Well, see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Good night.
Bye bye. Thank you, Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good bye. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. See you. See you. Thank you. Hi, JB. Hi, teacher. How are you? I llegando a casa. Wow, right now. Yes. Es que estos días están feos más con el tráfico y todo lo demás. Sí. Okay. Especially when it is when it's raining, right? Yes, teacher. Fíjese, dicho que he estado como revisando mm -hmm. qué preguntas poderle hacer así de lo que llevamos del curso. Sí, sí. Y hay algunas cosas de que todavía de las clases anteriores me ha quedado, por ejemplo, hoy que eh, mencionó al inicio, no estaba como pendiente, pero sí estaba escuchando uh -huh. de, del, del repaso que siempre hace. Y uh -huh. me llamó mucho la atención, espérame que voy a abrir el, el documento para decirle, porque he ido anotando. Por ejemplo... El tema del ahí donde están mis preguntas, sí, ah, también bien bonitas mis preguntas. Aquí está. Por ejemplo, en la pregunta que estábamos haciendo, teacher, de la de la sentence en la clase de ayer. Uh -huh. Vaya, por ejemplo, cuando colocamos el del the correct the mistakes in the sentence in the in the possible donde cambiamos de the some de a few ajá uh -huh. pues a mí me costaba un poquito todavía entender por qué es que lo cambiamos y por qué por ejemplo cuando hizo el, el ejercicio en grupo que discutíamos con los compañeros cuáles eran las preguntas erróneas y por qué. Entonces, sí sé que los no los accounts y los no accounts eh, van relacionados con el tema del, si bien cierto, el singular y el plural, pero son de los contables y los no contables, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. En clases anteriores, bueno, no en clases, en cursos anteriores. Cuando contamos el tema del azúcar, el tema de la leche, el tema del dinero. Yo he intentado cómo relacionarlo, uh -huh. pero aún así eh, siento que me cuesta un poco como, re, como, ay, no sé, como asociarlo. Por ejemplo, ah, vale, en ese que usted está mostrando. Por ejemplo, yo sé, con, en la discusión que tuvimos, que esa estaba, estaba mal a la número uno. Porque decía, Dana, predicted the new product will not attract much customer. Uh -huh. Sé que attract much no tiene nada, ninguna relación. The thing is that you have to relate it with customers. Yes. Right? Customers is plural and much is for uncountable. So it cannot be much. It can say many. Uh -huh. Customers or a lot of customers. Okay. So yeah. attract a many customers. Yeah. Because the number one is plural? Yes, because customers number, is plural. And number two is for, is, is the contable. Uh-huh, but it is, you use any with negatives, and the sentence that you have here is affirmative. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to use some. We use some in affirmative and in negatives and questions. Right? Then, uh, then, y, si hubiera dicho, it is not, we are so correct on any. Exactly, exactly. It is not necessary to revise any of the components. Mm -hmm. Or if you put it like a question, is it necessary to revise any of the components of the marketing strategy? 
right? As a mm -hmm. question, any. As oh, okay. a question, any. But here, as the sentence is affirmative, you have to use some. Is a sentence negative? Is some. Is a question no. negative? Uh -huh. In a negative sentence, any. In a okay. question, any. Some is only for affirmative. Ah, okay, 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 okay. And is a question, any. Only is affirmative, is some. Some, exactly. That's, that's it. Mm -hmm. um, and you okay. use some and any with both, with countable and non-countable. Okay. Mm -hmm. But some is affirmative and any is negative and question. For example, is necessary drink water? Is is necessary some drink water? Is it necessary to drink any water? Because it's a question, right? Yes. And then you say, yes, it is necessary to drink some water. Okay, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay. Listo. Okay. Ah, pues eso era lo que más me, me, me confundía por el tema de, creo que por eso, por el negativo y, y el, el... Ajá, exactly. But remember, um, you have to check if it is contable or non contable in the uh -huh. other cases. But yes. in the case of some, any, a lot, you don't have to worry about that because they can be used for both. They can be used for affirmative. Uh, yeah. Okay. They you can use them with a lot and some with affirmative, right? And okay. you can use them with countable and uncountable. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of water. Right? There a lot is of water. a lot of water. There are a lot of oranges. No, no say a uh, uh, much water. Remember that much is only in questions and negative. Mm -hmm. For example, if you say, I don't drink much water. Mm -hmm. right? I don't drink much coffee, but I drink a lot of water. So we cannot use much with the meaning of mucho. Mm -hmm. right? So okay. if you want to use much in a question, it's okay. How much water do you drink? Mm, I don't drink much, right? I don't drink much water. Like that, okay. it's okay. That affirmative, well, I drink a lot of water, right? So I, I drink a little okay. water. Mm -hmm. I drink a lot of juice or orange. Okay, I drink a lot of orange juice. Exactly. How okay. much orange juice do you drink? I drink a lot of orange juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't. Uh, how much is the question? A lot of is the answer. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You cannot okay. use much in affirmative either. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just in negatives and questions. Okay. Sure. Very thank you. It's okay. a practice. Yeah, yeah. The with the with the quantity, oh, there are many things, and there are many eh, nouns. For example, todos los que se llaman abstractos que uh -huh. no se pueden contar, right? Los nombres, lo, los abstractos. Por ejemplo, eh, love, patience. Todas esas cosas así que no, no, no tienen forma de medirse. Son arena, por ejemplo, arena. Ajá. Ah, aparte, aparte de, de todas las cosas que, como por ejemplo, las estrellas son contables, son infinitas, que es diferente. Ah. ¿Verdad? Pero la arena no se puede contar. No empezar así, uno, dos, igual que el arroz. Right? Rice is uncountable. Entonces, there is a difference between something that is uncountable and something that is infinite. But the star is similar to the, the arena. Arena is arena. Pero usted puede decir una estrella o dos. 
tres. Y cuatro, no puede ser una arena. Y de ahí las pierde. Ajá, pero no puede decir una arena. Una arena, ah. una arenita, un arroz. <ríe> right. uh, how much rice do you want? Yo quiero tres, no, tres, uh -huh. tres cucharadas. Yeah. That is when we use the, the containers to make those words eh, contable. ¿Verdad? Puedes decir tres qué? Tres que contable is the rice, is the... The sugar. The, the sugar, salt, the salt. Sí. Todos los líquidos son uncountable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y los animales muertos también. ¿En serio? Sí. Usted puede contar el pollo, puede ser el chicken, puede ser contable, si está vivo y anda el pollo. Uh -huh. pollo pío, pío. Pero si es tiro la pata, no. Si ya está muerto, cocinado y en el plato o en la olla, ya no es contable. En ese caso tiene que usar las units. Es decir, a, a breast of chicken, a, le, a chicken leg, a chicken mm -hmm. wing, a whole chicken. Si se va, va a llevar el pollo entero. Pero no puede decir a, a, a chicken solamente o a coffee. Fíjese que y usted Usted puede escuchar los americanos que dicen a coffee, give me a coffee, sí. pero gramaticalmente Ajá. no es correcto. Es como nosotros aquí que siempre saltamos gramaticalmente. Sí. Algunas cosas. Sí. Exacto. Ya, ya si se apega a la gramática, no es correcto. Y eso es lo que uno en, como en el léxico normal, en los salvadoreños yo le voy a entender lo que usted me quiere decir. Ajá. Exacto. Así son ellos, me imagino. Sí. Y lo mismo les pasa a ellos si están queriendo aprender español. <risa> Pero yo creo que quizás ellos se tienen más complicado, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque nosotros tenemos sinónimos hasta para decir, hasta para regalar. Yes, definitely. The Spanish is one of the most difficult languages to learn. Well, and even for us, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yeah. Ya no le quito más tiempo para que descanse. <risa> Vaya, pues de... muchas gracias, teacher. Ahí la molesto cuando haga el ejercicio, a ver si tengo alguna duda. Sí, claro que sí, claro que sí, que estamos. A la Vaya, hora. Pues. Feliz noche, teacher. Ok, thanks. Cuídense. See you, see you. See you.